Hello everyone, and welcome back to Wolf Quest 3, where we are here with the Dark Moon heiress to Generation 4, Rosetta, as she, whoa, and her mate, Troyus, apparently wake up to a very odd, what was that? Was that just some sort of coyote? She, no, it was a fox, to a fox who just thought he could show up and like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. All right, well, we actually woke up to like quite the scene behind us because there are actually a bunch of bison who are facing down some stranger wolves. What is going on here? There's some male dispersal wolves from the Toad Flax pack and they're actually like having a face off with some bison in what is now our territory. All right, this is just getting weird. Rosetta, go ahead. You go ahead and howl, my dear. We're gonna kind of let everybody know. Troyus is like, oh, do you want to play? No, Troyus, focus. We have some really, really important things to do here. Like, what on earth is going on with this group? Who knows? But we're going to go ahead and leave them to their weirdness. Because, um, look, if those dispersal males want to go ahead and pick a fight with Bison, like, that's... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What are you doing? Don't you know how dangerous this is? Look at this. Look at this. Like, he's literally just facing them down. Look, I'm gonna admit it, you have a lot of bravery, but I really... <gasps> and there it goes. Did you guys see that? What was that chaos all about? Okay, that was actually, like, pretty interesting. Not gonna lie, pretty darn interesting. But now the bison are, like, in the mood to go ahead and try to fight the rest of us. So, <laughs> the rest of us sane wolves who are not trying to go ahead and pick a fight with some bison. Well, that was completely unexpected. But welcome back, my friends, to Rosetta's Tale, which is actually turning out to be a little trickier than I thought it would be. Because now that Rosetta has actually gone ahead and she and Troyus have been able to fight off the... Um, Prospect Peak Alpha female and kind of let the Prospect Peak Pack know that, hey, this is going to be our territory. Trace, were you going to eat a rabbit? I think we saw a rabbit really quickly, but that's okay. This is going to be our territory, and this is going to be where we are going to make the home for the Dark Moon Pack to have their pups. Well, we're running into a bit of a problem, friends, because of Rosetta's lack of a sense of direction, which means we can never open up the map. Yeah. Because we can never open up the map and check where our territory is, we actually are losing territory and our territory is too weak and I have no idea where that is, but we have actually discovered several den sites. So like that's a plus, but the minus is that, oh yes, here we go. The minus is that we just do not have enough territory of our own. Troyus, you are adorable. You clearly, clearly love your mate. There's a cougar in the distance. What is going on tonight? Everybody's just like causing issues, excited about things. Why is there more drama music? Oh, because there's a whole herd of bull elk. Jeez, everybody is out and about tonight. What on earth is this all about? Well, we're gonna rush up and we're gonna see if we can destroy the scent marker for the Crevice Lake pack. Ooh, especially because there's a den nearby. Oh. We need to go ahead and find it. Let's go ahead and howl again. Since howling now takes over so much more territory percentage as we found with Lark, then... Yes! There we go! Howling takes up so much more of the good territory, which is really good. And actually, if we um don't find this den site... There we go. If we do not find this den site, I wonder if we'll actually be able to come back and locate it later because it will show up on our, our compass like this. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe we should find it now. Kind of a tricky decision. All right. We're going to howl a little bit more. Do we now have 14 den sites or 14 hexes? Yes. Okay. So that locked it in at a hundred because we heard the sound. So we just need one more hex claimed and we need to just try to have really strong territory. So now that we've done this, I'm actually going to leave this den be because this is not where Rosetta wants to have her pups. She wants to have her pups down by the lake and the river. So we're going to turn around, ignore that herd of bull elk because we're getting a little hungry. 
In fact, hmm, there was a lucky rabbit's foot, but it's gone now. We are getting a little hungry, and Rosetta does indeed. Haha, -ha, this is also our territory. Let's strengthen this up. I don't care if it's still above. There we go. It's still above 50. Let's try to strengthen it somewhat. All right, there's one. And then these two, like, the moon packs in both Lark and Rosetta this time are going to be just howling up a storm because it raises your territory so much better. There, all right. So now this is definitely locked in as our territory as well. I think Rosetta's feeling a little more confident about things because she knows somewhere south is the river. And if we need to claim a little bit more territory, okay, the rabbit's not gonna be here. And it looks like since there's a couple coyotes over there, I really don't think the rabbit's gonna be there. Oh, what was over here? Ooh, some mule deer recently? We are getting a little hungry. I could use a meal soon. All right, you know what? Let's go ahead and follow these mule deer. And let's see if we can get a little bit of hunting done. And then we'll continue to go back down south and try to find anywhere that we can go ahead and claim as our territory. All right, this is also our territory right here. Let's make sure it's up to 100%. Oh, and there's the mule deer in the distance. And then we'll go hunt those mule deer down. Okay, good. That's now our territory here is now strengthened to 100%. This is a huge, hard challenge to actually do all of this without looking at the map even once. All right, there we go. A lone mule deer. It doesn't seem like she was out with any companions, which means that she is vulnerable to becoming our prey. All right, come on. Come on, Rosetta. I think we're about to spook something. Are those the toad flex wolves? Maybe? Look, I'm in the middle of a hunt. If you two are done, like, bothering the bison, then just get out of the way, because we're, we're busy here. I've got hungry wolves to feed. All right, that mule deer is actually ridiculously healthy, which is very annoying. But Troyus is a very good swimmer, and he, he just, like, tore across the river and he's still trying to chase her. All right, let's catch our breath for just a second. Are we still in our own territory? Oh, we're down back by the, the beaver dam. Yes. That was a good rush then. All right, is this still our territory? Yeah, it's still at a hundred. So that's good. Aha, but what about this one? Is this one at a hundred? All right, not yet, but we're gonna get there. And part of how we're going to get there is through the hunt. All right, come on. Come on, Rosetta. It's really tricky to hunt like a healthy deer, but she is bringing us down into territory we needed to claim anyway. Come on. Come on, Rosetta. Why can you not bite her? There, 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 there we go. Oh, she's digging in with everything she's got. This is a very fast deer. Let's try go ahead. Let's try going ahead and catching our breath for just a second. We'll loop around. And then Come on. We don't want to give up a meal that's almost one. All right. If we could just slow it down long enough. Troyus, come on, help out. Oh, the deer shook him off. Come on, Troyus. We're gonna eat well, and then we can sleep and try to claim more territory and finally have our puppies. Good job, Troyus. Good job, good job. All right, let's back up a little. And now that she's limping and not gonna be able to get nearly as far. Oh, there he goes. Man, there is a lot happening tonight. I'm gonna go ahead and let her howl. Goodness gracious, and now like the darkness of the night is settling in, that arctic hare is running for its life. And I think we're at 100% over here now, so we don't need to worry about claiming more territory down here. All right, well, let's go ahead and let them rest, catch their breath for just a minute. Maybe stay close by the carcass. And then when we wake up, we will try to claim a bit more territory with poor Rosetta and her terrible sense of direction. 
and cross our fingers that we'll finally hit enough that we can go ahead and have our pups and head back to those amazing lake dens. All right. Who or what is that in the distance? A fox with a very bushy tail. All right. And it sounds like there's some other wolves nearby, so we'll go ahead and give a little howl. We'll get there eventually, Rosetta. I'm sorry that you have a terrible sense of direction. All right, I think we're still at 100 here then. All right, she's full. And let's do this, you guys. So how many do we have left? We still have 14, 14 wonderful spots claimed. I'm getting a little turned around. Now we need to go north because we're across the river. Again, much, much, much more challenging than I was going to give it credit for. I thought, oh, not opening the map with Rosetta. It'll be fine. Actually, it's really hard. And since the beaver dam is over here, let's see. There were a couple of spots we wanted. Oh, there's the elk herd. Also, what on earth is that? Is that a rabbit that's swimming? What is happening over here? Hang on a second. Is that a swimming rabbit? Because I have never seen... It is! Come on! We had to go ahead and eat the lucky rabbit's foot that is literally like a swimming rabbit. That is too cool. That is absolutely too cool. And we're so full. I feel very guilty now. I killed this rabbit and I'm not even going to eat it. Um, well, okay. I'm going to carry it until we're hungry. <laughs> and we're going to come back over. And since we chased the Prospect Peak Pack away, I feel like we might just kind of peek, pun fully intended, at the territory on this side before rushing back over to the lake. Because I do think that there is also a beautiful herd of elk, which it's kind of fun to just run through and startle them. Especially because she's not even hungry. Rosetta's kind of playful like that, where she, she would dash in and just kind of playfully startle the herd and get them moving. All right, but we're full of mule deer and we don't really need to worry about much. Let's start giving it a little run. I wanna see where does the territory change over? This is fascinating because I'm starting to really have to lean in a lot more on learning the landmarks since we can't use the map. And I thought I knew the landmarks well enough. And I have some general ideas, actually. Haha, -ha, see? I think this spot was getting weaker. <gasps> yes, 14! Okay, we're getting closer. Let's put this down. We'll do a couple howls. Troyus and Rosetta seem to enjoy doing kind of like their howl duetting. Is that going to help our territory? Apparently not right now. All right, we'll be back. And now we're going to head straight to the west, following the river and claiming and reestablishing the moon pack territory along the way. I think what we're going to do now is we're going to just really push Rosetta to her very edge, trying our best to go ahead and just claim as much as we can so that we can have these puppies because after the pups are born it'll be a lot easier to just kind of stick to certain areas and know okay we have to hunt so we want to reclaim this area but establishing like a zone of 15 when you can't even really tell where you're going or whose territory you're in or how strong your own territory is harder than i thought very good challenge for those of you looking to do something extra and new in wolf quest so all right, my friends, I'm going to get Rosetta all the way over to the lake, and then we're going to really just start zigzagging around the lake and trying not to sleep. We're going to push off sleep and the weakening of the pack territory hexes as a result for as long as we can, and we're going to just try to see if we can get to the point where we can finally, finally, finally have her puppies. Oh, I had no idea her sense of direction would get us into such a slow start with like seeing her and Troyus' pups. But we'll get there. We'll get there eventually. So if you guys could, do please leave a like for Rosetta and her playfulness. And if you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.